Factory Town, friends. That's what the game is called, and that's sort of what it's about. Uh, turning the entire town into a factory. Hello, I'm Colonel Failure, and uh, welcome back to the second part in this series, uh, where we're gradually expanding out. Uh, now, while you've been away, I've made, well, very, very slight adjustment. Um, I've got a couple of, uh, a couple of Herberts here, uh, started to stock up the stonemason with stone. There you go. Oh, you didn't see that coming. Uh, and as you can see, they've already pretty much filled it. Uh, the output hopper is full. Good. Uh, we've also got our first cart. Well, it's going to be ready soon-ish. Uh, we've got another Herbert who's currently transporting the wheels for said cart uh, over to uh, over to the uh, base here. Um, and uh, and once we've got that up and running, we'll uh, we'll get this show on the road. So stick around. Now then, we've got a couple of workers here who are going, uh, boss, um, I've not got anything to do. And it's the uh, the chaps who were who were harvesting uh, foodstuffs. One of them's had the wherewithal to go, there's some over here, I'll just can't start picking that, and I'm going to give the others the same instruction uh, to keep the grain mill uh, fully operational. Uh, this grain mill is now fully operational, and so on. Uh, we'll, we'll take some from over there as well, and then maybe... They will learn together that uh, that they can harvest from multiple different resources. Now they can target individual areas of the grain field, um, but for some reason they're opting to all pull from one at the moment. It's not the end of the world. It's it doesn't make for that much less efficiency. Uh, but let's get a cart going because then we will see something that is actually efficient. Uh, and a cart is treated the wagon uh, is treated just like any other worker. So it uses one worker. Four wheels, ten planks, and forty of the yellow coins. And uh, you just plonk it in like a regular worker. And as you can see, it is going... What's the gig then, Chief? Uh, what are we doing? Well, you're going to go and pick up stone from there and, uh, and whiz it back to base. Uh, and you'll see immediately why you want to do this, because... It is carrying multiple pieces of stone. Oh, yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, the cart's capacity is four, and if you give it a road to travel on, it's pretty nippy. Uh, in fact, let's give it a road to travel on, and then it will be pretty nippy. Now that's path. Give me, uh, give me road, uh, which lives here. Roads, thank you. Uh, ro roads use a bit of stone, and they also use some yellow coins in order to get built. I haven't got the cash for this. Uh, right. Okay. Well, we'll go that far uh, because at least that will uh, that will will result in a turn of speed as soon as we break the corner. There you go, turn of speed. And then it comes back again. And then uh, and then we'll build a bit more. Because I should have enough cash. There you go, good. Yeah. Uh, now the cart will... Everything path finds uh, for itself initially. Uh, you can build tools later on that allow you to, uh, to change up the path finding. Um, but uh, they will always take the quickest route available to them which with a bit of road in place should mean it does that. But in fact, it does mean it does that because you can see it doing that. Uh, now, I also want to get a cart on the lumber mill as well uh, to get that. I mean, it's not moving really far enough to make it worthwhile, um, but it will, it will free up some of my workers to do something slightly more useful. Um, or rather not. I mean, you know, the carts are always more useful than regular workers. Uh, but, uh, there you go, you grab that and bring them over here. Um, uh, but they, they are more expensive, obviously. And, and, but the, where the workers come in useful is if you are breaking new ground or working on a new piece of tech um, and you, you haven't fully built out the infrastructure there yet. So, for example, from the workshop, I could quite easily put a chute out the back of it to fire stuff directly into the, work, into the, uh, into the base. But I'm not going to get a shoot through all these trees and rocks and what have you. So uh, uh, while you're still having to work around the, the resources that are in the way, the uh, the ideal solution there is uh, is simply to use workers rather than uh, rather than carts. Right. Okay. Good. So that's 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 actually pretty promising. Uh, what's what's the uh, what's the issue you've got? Uh, who's uh, who's who's currently going? I I'm lost and I don't know what to do. It's really simple there, dude. Go and keep harvesting. Right? We're, we're about to run pretty low over here, so I need to start hard charging towards getting farms. Um, and that's a couple of pieces of tech up the research tree 
Uh, but we shall we shall go in that direction. Now then, we have the option to build a well and a barn, but we don't need either just yet. What we do need is the schoolhouse, however. Um, so that's going to take an upgrade of the base, uh, which is going to require 10 wood wheels and 8 on the happiness scale. How are we doing on the happiness scale? One unhappy at the current time. So I should probably feed in even more food um, into the uh, into the grain mill to keep people chipper. Uh, so I might start uh, a secondary harvesting operation over here. No, that's a bad place for it. It would be a good place were it not for this enormous uh, kind of stone uh, wall that's getting in my way. Um, and stone takes quite a lot to shift. Now, that's not a bad thing in itself because... Uh, it means that uh, you, you've got plenty of resources before that uh, that pool dries up. Uh, but it's unhelpful because that would have been a good place to do it. What I'm looking for is a lot of crops all in one area. And I don't want to plunder the tomatoes. But I think I might have to. Uh, yes, I'm going to run. Yeah, I'm going to run dry on, on food pretty quickly because I can't get to this grain. You've got another little patch there. You've got another little patch here. Some more over there. Okay, right. Well, what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll go grab this lot. Um, I mean, how much are we talking about? So it'll tell you how much you've got there. So it's 30. There's, what, let's say about 120 going on there. The top one's got 36. The lowest has got like 23. Diddle do, and, uh, I suppose, in the short term. And what we'll do for that is we'll 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 set up a crate uh, to, uh, to uh, act as a temporary dumping ground. We'll put another worker on that. In fact, we'll put a pair of them on there. Um, and uh, you guys get to work. All right, you, this, you, that, go. Now, the crate doesn't hold a massive amount. Uh, but what it means is your workers don't have to go absolutely miles and miles. Um, the other weakness that crates have is you can't hook them up. Uh, as a uh, as a start point for shoots or conveyors or anything along those lines, so uh, so I am going to need to uh, uh, to keep an eye on that because once that's full, uh, I'll stick another cart in there and we'll get that shipping straight into the grain mill. Uh, and then we're going to need one more worker here in order to grab completed wheels and take. No, wait, 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 wait. Oh, he's figured it out for himself. He knows what I want. Um, you have two options. You can basically just uh, click on the thing and go, work on that, will you? Uh, or you can give direct instructions of work on that, will you, and take it back to the, ho the, the home base, which he's now done. Right, how many wheels have I got in stock? Four. Well, that's enough for a cart. Crate's full. Cart time, then, I suppose. Uh, this is going to max out my workers again. Uh, right, stick that in there. You... Go to here, grab that, and bring it back here. Right, I'm not going to give him a road. I've got other plans in this area, and I don't know what they are yet, but it looks like it might be a good zone for some farmland, uh, given that I am going to want to keep these uh, these chaps here. Um, well, I'm, I'm going to want to keep them cheerful, which means that the ongoing supply of food is absolutely critical uh, if we're going to upgrade. Now, I don't care if they don't remain happy uh, you get a productivity bump if everybody's happy at the same time um, but uh, but it, the world doesn't end if uh, if people get a little bit miserable yes right okay now that we've got four th and three that are level two uh, let's level two some more of these I've got the resources for that at least uh, and that will at least give me access to a few more workers now, you can go quite a lot faster than I'm doing, but I'm trying to kind of explain my thought process as we go. Uh, not that uh, my thought process is particularly advanced. Uh, before kicking this series off, I'd played probably about three hours. So uh, so I'm going to learn, once I hit the, uh, uh, the end of what I've done so far, uh, the, error of my, uh, the error of my ways. Um, but, uh, but won't that be nice? Uh, right, okay, how close are we now? You need ten wheels. Well, how many have we got? Three. Well, that's just because you built another wagon. Uh, but that wagon is doing, uh, is doing great work uh, in, uh, in supplying us with, uh, with further food. I tell you, it's very tempting to put a... Uh, it's, it's really tempting 
to put a road in here, even if just a short one. But I don't really, I don't really want to use the resources up. That's the that's the thing. Uh, we've got a few more structural blocks in there, so we've got road ramps and uh, pillars and so on. Now they will auto deploy uh, for the most part when needed. So uh, uh, as you can see, when I when I put this road in here, it automatically built a couple of wooden struts. Uh, to support the change in altitude. The other thing that I can do is, at a cost of I think it's five gold uh, per block, is you can uh, you can change your elevation and uh, and do all that kind of standard terraforming stuff. Um, but uh, but at the moment I don't need to do that. Right. What am I waiting for? Wheels. When do I want them? Well, now, really, because because uh, we're, we're trying to push the uh, narrative forwards. Well, you can't have them now. What if I were to what if I were to build some pathway? Would that speed things up a little? No, it wouldn't. You've got a forest in the way. Okay, well that forest isn't going to be there for long. They are getting through it. Um, uh, how are we doing on happiness? Yeah, one unhappy. Okay, so seven of eight uh, are happy. Right, let's put a road in. I've got you know we might as well uh, might as well keep things moving swiftly while we've got the chance. Uh, right. Yes. So from box road up, there we go. That'll that'll help him. It, uh, normally he would uh, he'd, he'd relish the opportunity to ride on the road. There we go. One opportunity relished. And then if we stick this down here like that, I don't really want to put a wiggle in it, but I'm going to have to. I think wiggle, wiggle. There you go. Uh, then the uh, the harvesters from there will also benefit from the road as well. They get a little bit of a performance kick uh, by travelling in that fashion. Um, chances are, however, these two lads here are going to struggle to keep up with the uh, the pace of the cart, and then I'm going to need to come up with another plan. We could we could strip this bit as well, I suppose. But fundamentally, you're uh, you, you know you're, you're rearranging deck chairs on the Titanic as far as food is concerned. Right, finally, upgrade, go. Good. Now then, we can get the general store. Now we need the general store in order to make uh, red coins. Uh, the general store is another means of making people happy as well. So basically, we're selling stuff to these chaps, and that's what we're going to build first, assuming I've got the parts. Uh, ten stone, ten planks good to go right okay so if i stick you right next door to the the standard market there yep that looks that looks about right right uh and then we need to feed into here stone in order to make uh red coins um and it's polished stone so basically different materials in fact if we call this up it will tell you uh it will so basically if i sell, if i give it a plank it will give me three gold um, but one wait, 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 wait. Uh, one stone of the prepared variety will give me one red coin. That's what we're going to do. Uh, blue coins get you a, uh, a, a R done in exchange for iron plate. I'll get this the right way around this time. A reinforced plank will get you six blue coins, and so on. Um, so clothing I could sell uh, quite easily for. Uh, uh, no, hold on, wait, no, it's wool. It's, I'm getting confused by the bit at the bottom, you see. Um, wool, you can sell for two red coins. Clothing, uh, cloth for four. Clothes for ten. Right. Good. But we haven't got any of that, so we're going to do stone brick. Thank you. Okay, good. Uh, what do you think? Couple of lads? Couple of lads get it done? Couple of lads will get it done. Right. Yep, there you go. But, boss, wouldn't you rather use a cart? No. In this case, I wouldn't. Hold on. No, no, no. No, no, you're going the wrong way. Oh, you're going the right way. All right. Well, you kind of read my mind, but I'm going to give you proper instruction there anyway. You, same deal. Uh, I could use a cart, but the problem I'll get there is I will no longer be storing any back in uh, base HQ, which will mean that when I come to need some stone, there will be no stone available for me to use. So uh, so the uh, uh, we're just going to take a couple at a time, and as you can see, we're now generating red coins. Now, red coins' fundamental usage is in research. Uh, so if we get the school, this is our research building. Now, it uses paper and red coins in order to conduct research. Are you getting all of this so far? Uh, now, the red coins are available from anywhere, but I want uh, another lumber mill near a water source uh, to make paper. And we will go 
right about. No, I want to be able to shoot it. So if we hit there, I think that's going to be too close to go. Let's get the lumber mill up first. Um, right. So if it, if you've got it intersecting with the blue section here, then, uh, then you can output directly via shoot or conveyor or what have you. Uh, let's try that. Right. You are going to be making for me the paper, which I can't do yet. I need a school before it can do that. Well, that's fine. School I'm building next. Um, and then we want a school right next to it. Now, you need to be on a same level. This could work. It might not. Uh, but, it's, but if I end up using a dude for this, then it's going to be a really short trip. So I'm not that fussed. Uh, the, only, the only downside is that it will use a worker. So uh, let's try and put a shoot in there. Like that. And then we will uh, we'll set your recipe to be paper. Yeah, see, paper doesn't slide down a chute, uh, but it will later on slide down a uh, down a conveyor belt. So so that's not the end of the world. Uh, X kill. Thank you. Right. What do you want to research there, dude? Uh, well, I want to research um, something useful, and it's going to be farming. Because uh, that way we can uh, we can alleviate all of the supply chain problems we're going to be encountering soon when we run out of grain. All right, next job is get some lumber into said lumber mill and a chap to transport between the two, and that's all good. I've got the workers available. Let's make it happen. Right, one, two. All right, you, your job. Come here, grab the paper, and. Uh, and just basically post it through the letterbox. You, however, you've got the heavy lifting to do. Grab the trees, take the lumber mill. You feel good about that? Bounce, bounce, bounce. Yes. And then we'll wait. And in, at some point in the very near future, he's going to go, Paper! Ha, 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 ha. Anytime soon. Anytime soon. He's got, there he is, paper. Flung it in through the window. Good lad. Maximum efficiency. Uh, so each point of research, farming takes 25 points. Uh, uses uh, one paper and one red coin and five seconds. That's fine. It's going to then take us a little while for that to get finished up. Uh, right, we've now we've now completely cleaned out uh, this area, so we're now going to want to uh, uh, look for our next grain harvest. Uh, what are we, how much have we got over here? Is it worth setting up a cart route in the short term? It'll keep stuff moving, but, you know, the only thing that the uh, the grain is getting us right now is uh, is money. As much as the happiness is possibly giving us a, a bump there as well, the money is the important bit. Uh, you, It's not really worth building. Uh, anyway, kill this crate. Thank you. Uh, and then, where are we going to go from? Now, we could go down here. What are we looking at over here? Another 120. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, that was stone. I got excited because it said 194, and I went, Oh, my bacon is potentially saved. But no, you're, my bacon is still potentially cooked. Uh, right, crate over here. Yeah, right there. Thank you. You, go, uh, go get to work again. Go and work on that. You, same deal. Go work on that. Uh, El Cartarino from Hither. Hold on, wait until it's got something in there. Uh, and then I could give you instructions. So yeah, I mean that, that's probably put the end to that bit of uh, that bit of road that we were using there. But the workers are still getting some use out of it, and you know I like to treat them somewhat nicely on occasion. Uh, right, okay, now we're good to go. Grab this, hoik it into there. In fact, no, no, oh, oh, what a what a what development is this? Well, once I've got farming. Uh, I'm going to need uh, some samples of wheat uh, in order to be able to place wheat farms because um, you've got to replant it basically, um, and uh, and that's that's not uh, that's not immediate. So I'm going to need to stash some of that and then stash some tomatoes as well so I can get those growing. Not a problem, but it just means that you know doing things in the right order is a sensible way to look. He's in your way. You, you're in the way there, Mush. Get out of the way. And then uh, El Carterino can do his job. Now you get back to work. There you go. Right. In fact, if I put one bit of road, I don't really want to put any more than that at the moment because I'm not sure 
what my end layout is going to be. What are you telling me? What haven't I got? Can't build on uneven terrain. Oh, okay. Uh, well, in that case, uh, in that case, you're all going to be in each other's way permanently. Don't make me micromanage you. Now, later on, there are plenty of options you've got in terms of uh, uh, of preventing things from going in a particular direction. In fact, I might go for that now. I don't know if this will work or not, but let's get a fence. Just one. One ought to do the trick. And uh, go fence. Actually, yeah, let's go three. So that this clown stops getting in the road. Obviously, his mate's not helping because he's just stood by the side there. No, he's he's still quite happily. He's gone round the corner of the fence. Ha 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 ha! Fixed. No. Oh, why not put it in the other side of the box, you Charlie? Oh well, never mind. Um, right. <laughs> Good. Uh, and and there we go. We're we we are now uh, we're now in business. Uh, how's the research coming on? We're up to 24 of 25. Perfect. Um, and that will take us to the end of the uh, the episode for today. Uh, I'm going to keep these short and punchy so you can chew on them when it suits you. Uh, but there we go. We've got the farm. Nice. We've got a pasture. Going to need that too because it makes fertilizer. Uh, and we can also make medicine. Ah, not bothered. Um, grand. Um, I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching today. And, uh, and in the next episode, we're going to be doing some farming uh, and, uh, and working on the logistics to, uh, to get logistics because that will then uh, allow us to... In fact, we might as well keep this... I'll set this going now, shall I? Uh, basic logistics. That's conveyor belts to you and me. Uh, right, I've, uh, I'm out of here. Uh, subscribe if you've not done so already and fling a like at this if you enjoyed it and I'll be back soon with the next thrilling installment. Thanks for watching. Cheerio! Now, I've played through the start stage of this game a couple of times now, and uh, and without fail, it has always been a little bit messy. Um, and, uh, and it's going to get messier still up until I start getting automation working in the likes of using chutes and, uh, and conveyors and that kind of jazz. So, uh, so yeah, there's, there's plenty of carnage to come. The important factor is those individual worker dudes, uh, what they're great at is, uh, is breaking new ground. So before you start laying in heavy amounts of infrastructure, they're top-notch at just, you know, whittling away a few trees and fishing up some plants and that kind of thing. Um, but, yeah, no, lots more of this to come, and I'm really enjoying it. So, uh, so stick around because I'm going to have more for you.